Hey, what's going on? Uh, <coughs> Pre-show. I got no monitor over here, Andrew. This one's not on. Pre-show. Pre Pre-show. He usually starts the show. Yeah. I, don't, oh, I don't know what to do here. Yeah. I'm sitting on the phone and shit like that. Pre-show. Pre-show. What's going on, y'all? Craig X, Papa, the Empire crew, we're in here. Just turning on all the buttons still. I guess we forgot one. Here we, here, there we are. Now it looks less awkward for me. We got, okay, so what you don't know is there's like a monitor over here and a monitor over there so that we can see what's happening for all the cameras over here. <laughs> Magic. And then this one wasn't on. So I was like, but I, gotta, I can't look over here the whole show because then you'll just see this. And it's bad enough seeing this, let alone this. Um, good to see you here. For episode, what'll be what? It's 175, I guess, now. Yeah. Damn. Amazing. Weird for me to be in this spot this early on the pre-show. This is usually your domain. What's going on, Pablo? Hey, man. I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm chilling. Hi, as usual. Well, let's get higher. I figured I'd start the pre-show a little bit early here because of, uh, uh, you know those new guys, Fast 420, that we're talking about on the show? Andrew? You know those fast guys? Yeah, that one, right? Uh, uh, they got the new delivery here on the screen. It is right there. Andrew should probably make it go bing. Close. And, yeah, close. Uh, and here's the new thing. Uh, delivered here in Vancouver's West End. We're not quite in the West End, but I figure I'm going to go ahead and get a delivery here anyway for the show. So I thought we'd start out at the start of the show here, get something delivered, see if we can get it before the end of the show. So let me see the menu. There's all that browsing stuff. I just want to go right to the... Sh you, you maximize your screen, Andrew. Fine. Good advice from in the booth. Um, flowers. Let's start with some flowers. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 what to take? What to take? What to take? Well, Ooh. yeah, there you go. Oh, nice pictures. Nice website here. Oh, Fastforward20.ca. Go over here, get some rock star. Ah, yeah, that's pretty good. And let's just get a quarter and add that to the cart. And then let me see. Let me see. What else? Uh, we should get some extracts. Mm. Let's get some extracts. A little bit of love potion. Yeah, let's get some yeah. of that. Some FSD here. Very nice. Oh, you gotta check it out. Yeah, from, uh, oh, from produced by Everlasting Extracts. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta add one of those to the car. And then, um, I know, uh, let's see, edibles, edibles. Puff of like, you like those pot Cheetos, didn't you? I saw those on there. They're pretty for a good, they're pretty good. Yeah, flaming right. ones, though. No. Oh, you like the flaming <laughs> ones? I gotta get the flaming ones. Okay, well. Whatever, I already clicked it. Oh, fine, we need to do this. And here we go. Add the cart. Oh, an option. What kind of options? Oh, Indi Indica. Okay, there we go. Oh, hot Cheetos, that's the way to do that. Mm -hmm. I like this. Now the question is, will it show up before the end of the show? And Todd, you want some hash? <laughs> Dumb question, <laughs> I know. All right, I saw the word bubble hash on there. So yeah, let's get some of that 45 micron uh, bubble hash over there for you. Thank get you. that some of there for the hand. See, oh, now I can't, this is too big. How do I get back out of this? I can't tell because my screen's too big. How do I go back now? There it is. There we go. Okay. First time I use this site here. This is pretty easy. If you have anybody who wants to do this, you can do this as well too. Fast420.ca on the pre-show here, holding it down. All right, let's go to the cart. Just hanging out here. You never know what we're going to do on the pre-show. Usually it's not me. Here's the whole cart worth of stuff though. Doing it, deliver, apply coupon. Is there a coupon? Welcome gift, free pre-roll joint at New 10. All right. A free pre-roll joint with the code New 10. Well, let's put a black coupon. Let's see if they send us one of those. And update the cart and send it. Send it. Yeah, okay, well, hang on. Where's the button to? Your cart must be at least $25. But no, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, the new coupon code's already done. Okay. It's the Cheetos. It's the, the Cheetos are killing you. Cheetos, what's happening? You're $2 over the maximum delivery price. Really? Oh, yeah. Take off the Cheetos. Huh. How does that even work? Ditch the Cheetos. They can go. Well, okay. I guess I got to ditch the Cheetos. Take one for then. the team, you know? Or just get there 20 packs of Cheetos. Got yeah, it. You got a tech team here. Let's just will it. Yeah, you guys could just hack this, couldn't you? You guys should know how to do this from your phone. In a movie, Jenny would have already hacked this by the phone by now. Yeah. She, she's act, it's not that far off because she's actually in movies as well, too, here. <laughs> while the, while Solon is building an empire, or a hempire, should you say, Jamie is also building movie credentials on her IMDb. So, um, let me see. What is our address here? Oh, I know where it is. Uh, 
da, 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 da. How are you guys doing? Hmm? It's coming up in here. Oh, yeah. So. See, I'm not even watching because the screen's way over there. Craig X, over there, apartment, apartment, 700, buzzer, no, Vancouver, yep, yep, phone, um, yep, sure. Yeah, we can use that. Create an account, yep. Place order. Bing! Wait for it. Wow. <laughs> hey, Whoa. order received. Dang. Order number 983. Da, 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 May 9, $237, live endeavor credit, da, 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 hash, da, da, love potion, blah, blah, blah. Boom. All right, 416. We'll see how fast 420 is. <laughs> Indeed. If this was a movie, the doorbell would ring right In four now. minutes. Yeah. It would go ding. Now, then they would know it was a plant. Anyway, planted on the show today. Some people who grow some plants, at least, well, cartoon plants anyway, if you will. I don't know what they actually. Andrew. <laughs> Killing it with the sound effects. So fast. Uh, if they showed up, that would have been really, really bad. Uh, I do have some products from Fast 420 with us on the show today, and a few more, of course, as well, too. Check them out, fast420.ca. Um, and check out the folks from Hempire as well, too. Now, I play the game regularly, like r only phone game I play. No, no joke. There it is right there, my actual account. And uh, sometimes this is what I'm doing when Puff is doing the pre-show. <laughs> sometimes when I'm waiting. Um, anyway, we're going to have the folks from them back here. We've seen them on the show a couple times over the year or two that they've been doing it. Two years now they've been doing two. it. So, right? Um, Saul and Jamie, Kevin, Puff. We got music from uh, Viles on the show. Viles, right? yeah. And uh, uh, grow tips from Grandmaster Level. So that's cool as well, too. And a new expert selections we're going to debut all in like two minutes. So should be pretty cool. Full house in here today. Lots of people in the place to be. Yeah. All kind of production help in here. And a bunch of, we got some new staff around. Oh, buzzing. Maybe it's that's just buzzing. Me. growing. Well, they would know all about it. <laughs> uh, the best weed growing app there is, or I don't even know if you can call it weed growing, a weed game, I guess, but you do grow a lot of weed in it, and you're growing the whole city, and the, the fan base is growing. I mean, I you mean, can throw... I mean, our company's called LBC Studios, and our motto is We Grow Games. Right, so, so. there's it's kind of just inherent in what it you do. It starts with the game, but it's a community. It's, it's a little bit of everything, right? It's well, and we will talk more about that in episode 175. Puffin, what's good with you, man? 175. You I had a pretty good week. Yeah, can't complain, you know. I uh, was watching a lot of playoff basketball. My Raptors team, play tonight, right? Raptors play tonight. They oh, can, we you we know. better be done by 5 o'clock, otherwise Puffin might have to leave. <sighs> I, I think I have someone PVR in the game, so we're good. We good. good. Priorities, you know. My man Derek from uh, ICC, he, I'm sure he'll be, like, tuned in until about 4.58. And then he'll be like, okay, hey, gotta go. Gotta, gotta go watch Raptors, is what it is. Uh, in the chat over there, what's going on? Evil Dave, Wild Dragon, Maddie Mo, Mad Goat. Yeah, uh, um, there is no Pot TV YouTube going on right now for anybody who's looking for it. They got a temporary restriction from being able to live broadcast or update the uh, videos again from YouTube for the little slap on the wrist. So, uh, you know, eh, eh, um, how often does that happen to Pot TV? Uh, well, I'm not as uh, too too often. Yeah, yeah me, but, um, it's this is the second one that that's happened. It was like a year or two ago. Here. Yeah, they got hit with a run of couldn't couldn't do it for I think it was up to three months, and apparently this one's only supposed to be out of a week. But anyway, we can run the shows here on the Cannabis Life Network and on the Pot TV through my expert joints YouTube, which y'all are watching. And yikes, it's 4:19, the start of the show. So let's roll it. The opinions expressed in the following program are those of the producer and do not necessarily reflect those of Cannabis Life Network, Pot TV, Cannabis Culture, or High Times.
Yes! Light him if you got him, y'all. 420 here on the West Coast. So, it's time to smoke a joint. If it was already your 420 or it isn't your 420, who cares? Smoke some weed anyway. Fuck it. Why not? Plenty good of an excuse. Oh, he's smoking weed. It's like when you see someone smoking a joint in a movie. It's like, oh, hey, now I gotta smoke a joint. It's just, it's a thing. Uh, so, appreciate you coming here for the 175th time. This is episode 175, Expert Joints Live. Joint 170. Ooh. We're just about to get past the tipping point. This episode, next episode, we could finally get ahead. Could be kind of cool. Uh, anyway, uh, since we last spoke, DJ Slippy and I did episode 42 of Fridays over there on Save On Radio, featuring On Edge and Trey Flips of The Potent Life. Uh, you can check the replay behind the scenes videos over there on the expertjoints.com. There's the Mixcloud Audio, the Twitter, the Periscope, the Save On Radio. They're all there. And of course, they're all, all, all on High Times TV, including the last week's episode of this show, the Products by Sec pop up party. Wait. Pop up party video that we did. Uh, all the series, they're all there. Check them out tv.hightimes.com. Download the TV, uh, the HTTV app as well, too. You'll find all of our shows uh, and including uh, a bunch of more shows from uh, some really talented folks. So check them out. Um, also, check, I uh, got to say thank you to all the people who came out from around the world, went out and supported the Global Marijuana March that was on Saturday. It's an actual life size photo of Jer. <laughs> No, he was actually there in a Stormtrooper outfit because it was May the 4th, was also the same day. So he was there dressed up as, as a Star Tro Stormtrooper. But yeah, no, it was life size. He's like this big. <laughs> yeah, it's remember like the little G.I. Joes were like this big? Not that little. But like like the old school ones from like the 50s and shit. It's like, it's like you know. Anyway. Um, Shouts to Yub Yub. Red furry hair sticking out of his out of his Stormtrooper uniform was pretty awesome. Um, anyway, and everybody who showed up there. Oh, I also, uh, also, the other thing that came out as well, too, was the, uh, the neutralizers that people have asked me so much about. They're actually now available finally on the website. It took a minute to get them here and uh, loaded and some shit figured out, but it's there. It's happening. The compact kit, the road kit, and, of course, the pro kit that I use as well, too. All there and replacement cartridges now. Expertjoints.com slash shop. Slash shop. Get those more information, of course. Um, can be found at the neutralizer.eu and at the neutralizer on Instagram. And we got to say thanks to them for supporting this show as well, too. And I appreciate your support of the show, which uh, you can show by hitting the subscribe button right down here. Yeah. And the <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. And the and the, the thumbs up. There we go. The thumbs up. That's ready. All right. Yeah. Give them over there. Um, Andrew holding it down there. It's, you know. Got a lot of crew back there to deal with. And we got the whole crew from Empire up front here to deal with on the show as well, too. Uh, we've got uh, Puffa back for uh, Dab Time, of course. He's brought music from Viles. Uh, the Rap Games Bjork is how she builds herself. She's pretty dope. Uh, and also uh, Grandmaster Level is here with some grow tips and a new addition to our ever-growing list of expert selections as well, too. Should be a good show. I hope all y'all in the chat enjoy. I hope everybody's watching enjoy. What's up, Mad Goat? What's up, Izzy S, Evil Dave, Smoke and Chill, Professor Weed, Shaggy420, Bitter End. Is this thing on? Sort of. It's here. It's doing it. It's like half on, probably at the best. Over here, hey, it's on Cannabis Culture at the same time. Let me go mute this so it doesn't mess up everything. But I appreciate everybody who's watching where they can. And yes, unfortunately, right now, not available on the pot t pot TV, YouTube, uh, that's okay. We've still got it on there. We've also got the Expert Joints YouTube. And was uh, we're on Periscope and Twitter. I often forget that as well, too. Periscope and Twitter. And this week, Cannabis Life Network's Periscope and Twitter. So talk about market saturation. <laughs> Over the top coverage. It's too much. You got like, you got like 30 views on each stream. Yeah, so it means we got 37,000 views for the day. We got it on so many platforms. Appreciate everybody who watches everywhere that they do, week after week after week. You also watch me, to watch me r roll up a joint from time to time, and I got some more of this chocolate orange that I liked from last time from the folks at Fast 420. I want to see what they come with, but in the meantime, into the bud cam is this little lovely little frosty piece of sunshine. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, me likey. Todd, this is that one that you liked. Remember that sample day? Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to roll up some of that. That's the chocolate orange over there. 
We've got to make that smaller. There's so much to keep up with. Anyway, check out fast420.ca. That's what we're about to see when they get in here. See how fast they are. And we'll check out, well, their 420-ness with some friends of ours. Now, they got a, del they got a weed delivery service of their own, <laughs> sort of. It's called a world of uh, weed on wheels, right? Yeah. Yes, weed on wheels. And uh, it's actually not a weed delivery service. It's a little in-app little feature in the best game on iOS, on Android. Trust me, it will really grow on you, ladies and gentlemen. From Empire, please welcome ah. back to the show, Solon, Jamie, and Kevin, the on, CEO, the community manager, and the marketing director. All the brass! Hey guys. <laughs> All the brass in the place to be today. I uh, appreciate you guys being back. I haven't seen you since episode 130 last year, so. But you did see us on 420. That's right. We did have you at the beach out there Absolutely. on 420 as well, what holding it down. Uh, obviously, uh, thank you for coming out. I assume you enjoyed the day? Uh, yeah. 420 was amazing. I mean, uh, for us, it's about giving back to the community that's uh, given so much to us. And uh, we may not deliver the real dope, but we do offer thousands of strains in games. So there's always a chance to, uh, mm -hmm. to educate. You get to play the dealer. <laughs> right, it's true. Uh, also as well, too, you helped make the broadcast happen, so thank you for being a part of that as well, too, and being able to, uh, us being able to put that out there and have the stage and the broadcast and the big old truck that we did, so. Uh, it's, it's an amazing experience. I mean, even more than just the day itself, um, you know, and maybe it's uh, a bit of the celebrity thing, but for me, like, I grew up with Cypress Hill. Right. And, um, you know, I grew up in this community, so kind of seeing all those things merge together uh, in Vancouver, in your hometown, and then being a part of it in terms of supporting it, uh, it's amazing. It was a nice, a nice moment. Yeah. It was a nice moment. I feel that, man. And well, of course, also a delicious moment was all the pizza, but uh, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, it was also uh, your second birthday, wasn't it? it yeah. yeah. We started making it a tra 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 ah, tradition that each year on our birthday, because we launched on 420 in 2017. So yep. each year on 420, we buy a giant birthday cake and then at 420 after we have that big huge cloud, we just invite everybody over and we sing happy birthday and then we blow out the candles and we just like give away hundreds of slices of birthday cake. Uh, <laughs> people are hungry. Wait, you had cake? We had cake, yeah. <laughs> Catch yeah. us next year. I don't, I don't, I don't need cake. <laughs> <laughs> what, Andrew, is there proof of this cake anywhere perhaps? I don't yeah. think so. There's photos in our Facebook. Oh, there you go. Is, so. there, some, is there some in the Empire video that yeah. he's about to play next? Uh, are we going to do yeah. a recap of the 420? Yeah, we've got cake. a video. Uh, okay, then. Factual cake. Prove this cake that you <laughs> speak of. Andrew, oh. run the video. Did have cake. <laughs> the cake is real. And pizza. Oh yeah. Man, missed out again. I mean, everything else under control. Oh, well. We tried to feed you. Yeah, I know you did. I, know, I appreciate that you fed the crew. They loved it. You endeared yourself <laughs> to them. That's for sure, man. The uh, Empire pizzas were well received. Thank you for supporting all of them, of course, as well too. I, yeah, was a little bit um, focused on other duties besides food for most of that day. Delivering the festivities to the world. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. But, you know, it was a good time. Uh, if you want to see their whole interview, just uh, that standalone portion, you can watch the whole replay or you can go over to the Empire YouTube page now and hit that up as well, yeah. right? Yeah, it's live. 
we uh, must be kind of a bit of a, I don't know, a marketer's dream to have 100,000 people at your disposal kind of running around there who already like weed. Uh, yeah, feel, no, it was great. We, we definitely had a nice um, lift in installs that day. And we can see that the Vancouverites were finding us. Um, you know, if you search weed game in the app store, you'll find us on the first page. So, right. uh, yeah, we're, I mean, we were kind of bragging a bit about being the world's largest weed dealers, but. Uh, obviously, it's digital cannabis, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as Jamie mentioned, you know it's an opportunity for you to compete against a bunch of people and try and you know grow as much weed as you can in a really engaging experience, uh, you know, on iOS or Android. So, yeah, we have um, I'd say probably the best audience I've seen in any game. Well, uh, this is what I was going to say. We had a hundred thousand people down there, and it was good. Which you would have needed a lot of cake for to feed everybody. <laughs> yeah. but, but you also have like ten million people who've downloaded your game, right? Yeah. Like, so that's there's, that's that's too much cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of cake, yeah. Well, for us, uh, I mean, building Empire was a passion project, and um, the fact that 10 million people have adopted it, not just as entertainment, but really uh, a place to belong and a sense of community, is it's it's humbling and it's pretty wild to see. And I mean, I looked at the stats today: uh, 15,000 new players today alone, and you know, 150,000 people are play in Empire right now so that's pretty crazy uh, when you want to talk about community and size and 10 million people I mean the whole thing is mind blowing um, yeah. I and I was talking to somebody about this the other day because they said well what do you think one of the reasons for your success was and I think part of it is like if you live in a city where weed isn't legalized but you want to make friends with people who are into weed um, but you don't want to like join a Facebook group where your employer can like search you up like our game is kind of perfect for that because we have an in-game forum but it's not like <coughs> Googleable, so you can just like meet people date people even. But yeah, because you guys yeah. have a fairly <laughs> interactive chat and forum and the <laughs> enterprises and like you've, <coughs> I was trying to think about it. <laughs> like I play the game and as a matter of fact, I'll, we're going to pull up a, a recent copy of, of mine or the, my other profile, or I don't even know how to say this, but it's, it's just about where I am right now. It's like where I was two days ago, I think. Um, it's very cool. This Bluestacks emulator game that we have allows me to show you what's going on here to show on the screen. But, uh, because we, we can't connect the iOS or the Android very well through our computers and stuff, and trying to get the camera on the iPad causes the line. So that's what you guys are seeing here. So I will say this, the gameplay and the, the user interaction on the iPad and the phone is actually a lot better than this one is. So if it looks a little bit kind of funny or I'm kind of struggling a little bit with something the way I'm clicking it, it's because I have to do it with my mouse this time. So uh, other than that, I haven't really messed around with it. I figured we could give a little quick tour around town for a second as well too, in case some people aren't familiar with the game. Really, I mean, what it is, is the, the, the idea of the show, it starts, or the show, the game, it starts with, I'm, I'm a long ways into the game. I'm nearly at the, almost at the end of the game, but I'm a long ways in, but it starts with the, well, I mean, you guys give them the rundown. The, I the actually stories. want to see your world and what you've created. And <laughs> this is one of the things, like when you talk about Empire, it's about making it your own. Uh, Empire itself is a story-driven joint, so absolutely, you kind of go through the quest line. It's really about rebuilding your city and your economy uh, using legal cannabis, right? And, you know, through legal cannabis and through legal growing, you're fostering relationships with the people in your community. You're rebuilding the city, reopening some of the businesses. Uh, and then from there, it's really about being your own emperor. So it's about creating your own businesses, having your own dispensary, uh, your global market, managing your product. Um, and from there, then you open up the community and, and start to foster relationships with real people playing the game. I mean, the, the journey is endless. Um, but often, a lot of players don't actually get to show off their empire. So I'm really curious to see Craig show me what he's created. Yeah, so okay, so that's the great way to set it up, what it is. You're building up your town from kind of from scratch uh, with the, uh, with the, um, with, with, with cannabis from, from very basics. A lot of the buildings are kind of run down. A lot of them, you know, need to be upgraded and there's some trash laying around and things to recycle and strains to collect and you just you keep growing, growing, growing. Mm. And I've gotten to the point where I, I guess I started playing this game within the first, like, few months. I think I picked it up in June of 2017, maybe, yeah, so a couple early. months yeah. after you guys came out. And I, I lost it for about six months, but got it back and uh, was happy to have that. And yeah, I've since built up, so I'm fairly far along. I'm at level 70 and it actually puts me in the uh, top 10 or 11, well, I guess because you got so many more people. <laughs> and, and actually, I have upgraded more on my, on my one of my phone that I'm playing, because I'm supporting two different platforms here, because this isn't just like a yeah. copy of my exact one. It's a just about, I'm actually over 115 million, almost over 120. Yeah. So I'm about, a, I'm about the top 10,000 
I yeah. guess. I'm in the top 10 or 11,000, so that's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Right, right? That's not bad. That's top couple of percent. The fun there. fact, on the milestone leaderboards, all of the milestones listed are based on how much net worth those celebrities have in real life. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of money here. I don't... Okay, so the highest ranked player in the game right now, sorry, is... Sorry, it's, we have the mouse there having difficulties. If I scroll to the top... Should below, be let me, Joker, I think. Oh, yeah. Somebody has... Okay, this is what I got to ask. And you all are here. The highest one is 7.8 million right now, and that's person probably been playing for a long time. Yeah. That is only at like, whoa, whoa, whoa. See how many levels there are? There's 500 billion is the level. <laughs> this guy's at, he, in this level. Yeah, he's Ralph around. How long uh, is it gonna take, or how much would you have to put in? How many dollars or time or hours would it need to take to become the 500 billion dollar So, a little secret, emperor? we're planning on releasing a few more mechanics later this year to make those milestones a bit more achievable. <laughs> right? Because you did, you have released something. So I'll give you guys a quick tour around town and I'll show you guys what's going on, of course. This is your house where you get your objectives and your stuff to be told to do. I could be further along, but I've deliberately paused at level 70 for a minute just because I want to focus on some of the new features, yeah. catch a few other things up before I continue to advance. Mm. There is so much you can do, like help all of your different friends in town with all of their different orders. <coughs> but again, I've completed every one of them at level 70. So it's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little spot to pause at right now. So I'm going to come back to those. I've got all of the buildings. Uh, my favorite part, the garage. Right. Oh, yeah. Variety of cars in this game. Um, one of my favorite things is seeing so many people show me their empire and what they've decorated it with. I, I've never seen two that are the same. So, Yeah, yeah you because got, you've got all the different combinations from the different cars you yep. can put in the garages to the different fences you can put around your, your houses to the different ways you can put on the different trees. What and, zodiac are you, Craig? Uh, cancer. Okay, so that's uh, coming up soon. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, lots of different stuff. And the different statues you put around, I could see how the combinations are just about infinite. Oh, oh, but the time is not infinite. <laughs> hey, look at that, 21 minutes later. Uh, I see a guy with a helmet coming over this way. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Andrew, nice. Andrew, let's get this off the screen for a second here. We've got, we got a visitor. From Fast 420? I'm over here for Craig X. Hey, that's me. <laughs> that's me. What's going on, man? Uh, just, uh, I'll take that then. Okay. I'm going to need to see some ID first, though. <laughs> yeah, but I'm kind of in the middle of a show, and I think I'll, I'm up Craig X, right? <laughs> yeah? that's, that's cool, but I still need to see some ID, unfortunately. This fucking guy. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't plan this part out. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Well, how about that? Just make sure it's you there. Awesome. All right, man. Well, thanks, man. Hey, that was fast. That was like 21 minutes fast. Well, it is fast 420. Thanks, man. Appreciate Enjoy it. it. Cheers. Fast420.ca, man. Hooking it up. 20 minutes almost or less. Fast and dominoes, <laughs> I tell you what. All right, we'll come back to this game stuff in just a minute here. But, oh. You didn't even have to pay. Good deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone will pay you. I bet <laughs> someone already did. I would imagine that they already did. Okay. So in the bag here from Fast420. Oh, okay. In a nice little back seal package. Okay. Yeah, back to good, good, good. Subtle delivery, my man, just a regular bike courier. Do, 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 do. What do we got in here? Everything I ordered, probably. Some of the, yep, there's the love potion, FSE, from the folks at Everlasting. You know, that's good. Right, you know, shout out to Joel and them. Oh, the quarter of the rock star. Okay, let's check that out. Oh, that smells nice. Okay, yeah, smoke that up here in a minute. And, oh, yep, yep. The bubble hash. The bubble hash as well, too. Todd, you have to let me know how that... I'll let you know how it is. <laughs> I don't know where it went, man. It was just disappeared. <laughs> oh, and I guess the code still worked for the pre-rolled joint. Hey, there you go. But no, none of the Cheetos. I was hoping we might... The thing would have... Anyway, it's all good. Hey, that was fast, and it's 420. Fast 420. .ca. Check them out and on Instagram as well too. Back to the town for uh, back to the game for a second here as well too. I don't know. I should be passing this joint along. I'm not sure if you guys want that. You can pass that one around here as well too. I'll roll up to joint 171 as well too as we light this thing up here. Yeah. So giving people the tour around town. I've upgraded all the houses. I've upgraded all of the trailers already. I, I haven't necessarily maxed out on all of the. Things like um, you know, fences 
as you were talking about, you can customize different things here. There's higher ones you can do. I spend my diamonds on just... Just when you think you're going to max them all out. Then there's more. There's going to be more. Right? Oops, there's, there's all sorts of You said of you're stuff. at the end of the game earlier, and I'm going, oh no, we got lots to bring you. We're well, only two years in. Right? I was going to say, I've got to a point where the storyline was still moving along, but it was... There wasn't as much necessarily to do for upgrades. I pretty much maxed out all the, the bakeries and, and the oil shops and all the different places where I, I didn't have much left to do on that. And then just recently, oh, so I spent a lot of time in the shops. You guys, if you're wondering what I was talking about for robots and stuff, so in their <laughs> global market here, you can go in and get all these different items that you can use to use for upgrades uh, that for your different gear. So as it says in here, over here at Handy Mandy's, she was the cover girl for the photo there. All these different <laughs> items you need to be able to upgrade. Now, I've already done these other two in the other game that I'm done. I'm just down to this one here. Um, what are you pointing out? I was just pointing out you got light sockets down there. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. you've got light sockets down there, too, don't we you? brought some in for you. <laughs> <laughs> some of the fan art as well, too. Give me that for a second. That's actually pretty good. Let's see if we can pull one of these. Oh, come on. Pull one of these up here. What was this here? Uh, I don't know. I'll find one again somewhere. In your handy mandy. Oh yes, right, 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 right. In the handy mandy. Oh, there it is. Bloop. There we go. So you see her with all of these different pieces that she has. Well, one of them is a light socket, and uh, I happen to have this one in here. You've had some great fans who've done some amazing fan art. You can actually see a little bit of it peppered through the set as well too here on the table. Those things of money are actual things of money. I bet if I went along here, I could find them. Yep, passing me the big round of bills. And yeah, this is the other thing I got to show up. So hang on. So we got the, the the stacks of cash. If I if I probably pull enough of these, I will get one to pop up probably. Oh, see there, there's the stack of cash. Yeah, see, right, perfect, perfect, same, same. And then over there's oh Jamie as well too. Yeah. Jamie's the character that came in recently. Come on now, can I zoom into her? There she is, Jamie. She's the reporter character in there as well too, modeled maybe loosely exactly after Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> and there's her microphone is there as well too. I had to actually convince the guys on my team to not spell it like my name. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, might get confusing guys. And, and Homer Simpson would be proud in classic fashion over here in the bakery that has the donut on top. Here's the actual donut as well too, right? And then the one, the details, because there's the one at the top of the bakery that I also have. The de level, yeah. the level of detail, but actually it's beyond that and just the kitschy stuff. You actually can learn a thing or two about growing. You use actual j real strains that have properties that are appropriate and you can combine them to make other strains. And it, there's some knowledge and some science and some real, like not just fun yeah, around I mean, to it. Fun fact, you know, besides the strains that are created by users in terms of the customization in the game is all of the strains that you're actually in interacting with at the outset uh, are all real world. Uh, and the genealogy is accurate back 2,000 years. So we put a ton of research in making sure that uh, what we're presenting is not only fun, but educational as well. I like it. And because let's face it, you've got a really good community and you want to be able to like, if you can spread some knowledge at the same time to that group, as well as entertain and have a good time, it's, it's a good thing. Well, that's right? the thing is, you know, we, we, when we decided to make this game, it wasn't just because it was a passion project for us, but it was really recognizing what was on the stores at this point. Uh, didn't really speak to the authenticity that we felt the community deserved. And it was about making the best quality game um, that really took away from the stigmatisms of the cannabis community and moving forward in a positive way. And we'll talk more about what some of the impact that that's had, but I want to always touch on this thing that Jamie is standing by over here too. Let me see if I can get this here. The train feature was the new thing that you all talked about at 420. Um, this is the train depot here. And I believe you have a little explanatory video that we can run at the same time that maybe you can talk over a little bit and then I'll open up and show them. I just don't want to do it all. Uh, let's have you hit the join button first, actually. I oh, think. hit the join button? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, dun 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 dun. Choo choo. Choo choo. We call this train the dang. Oh, this is because it was new on this one. That's right. Yeah. There you go. So, Jamie, what am I doing here? So, here you are delivering goods around the country, and so here you've got some cookies, some oil, some keef that you need to send out. So you load up your train, and then you hit load, and then it goes choo-choo, bye! <laughs> and then when it comes back, uh, you are able to get points, what a competition is on, to uh, help your enterprise, your group of other hemperers, compete to be the best team at the trains event. And win the various different prizes that come with it, uh, better upgrades, better yeah. 
more cash, more little parts upgrades, yeah. all sorts of unlocks and stuff like that, and a great chance to be able to work with the team. Yeah. 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 Um, there's actually three trains in our game, and uh, we want to hear your guys' feedback on all of it, but we're, we're thinking of naming them the, the Dank Deluxe. Mm -hmm. um, also in Vancouver, we have what's called the Sky Train, so we're calling the second one the, the High Train. Yeah. And then we're uh, <laughs> we're gonna call the third one, which is all electric, the uh, the Vapor Express. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we want to hear your feedback on those, but yeah, we're coming up with some ideas. Pretty dope, man. Pretty mm -hmm. dope. Well, the next joint uh, the uh, event enterprise uh, the next enterprise <laughs> event is ready to join. Uh, this one, this click clicky, <laughs> me clicky butt butt. There you go. Uh, and in tomorrow, well, that'll be kicked off for that. And I've already been through one of these, and it was cool. We, we I think I came in third. Nice. That's pretty whatever. good. That's, but, it, you know. And I think it was just mostly two of us just doing it. But. Uh, well, and I was going to say, it, it may feel easy at first, um, but part of that process is actually uh, a matchmaking uh, program that we're building right now. And basically what that does is as the better teams sort of rise to the top, is they'll start competing against each other. So it's right. only going to get more and more difficult, uh, and it's going to balance out a bit just to make that competition a little bit more fierce. So it's a great feature, obviously. It's a new way to sort of invigorate, and it gives another thing to do. Now, not that there wasn't always stuff to do, because you can always go ahead and help the team. That continues to go on. The storyline continues on. There's deliveries to make at the World of Wheels. There's all these things, but now this train thing keeps more events happening, even like beyond the Empire Cup, which oh, I should also join as well, too. <laughs> well, and this is the thing. It's like it's it's always figuring out just like the community in the real world is is how it evolves. We evolve with it. So, you know, at a basic level, absolutely. You want to have that storyline. You want to build your hemper or your empire. Uh, and for us, you know, when we realized that this game really fostered community, it was how do we bring the community together where you're actually working with friends and collaborating, you know, more than just communicating. And so when we decided we were going to build the guilds, that, you know, that was a great first step at bringing people together and having your friends join, but we need to give you something to do. And at the end of the day, everyone likes to compete. Everyone wants to be the number one hemper in the sure. world. Uh, and for us, trains was, was less about the, the trains themselves, but really more about creating competition where you can work <laughs> together uh, and win together. I'm focused right now, if it comes down to it, my current strategy was just to kind of finish with the upgrades, because I was just finishing those, so I continue on that, get the upgrades of it. I don't know how many levels of train upgrades there's There's a hundred currently. There's a hundred? Yeah. So <laughs> you'll be first. Because people were like, oh, we want stuff to do. We're like, you want stuff to do, huh? Because there was like 18 of the other <laughs> one, 10 of those, six, eight. You get, man, those like, okay, so I'm going to be real with you right now. <laughs> these fucking like, uh, these conveyor belts, and these vacuum pumps and shit, all this stuff because they're all new and everybody is trying to get it. They're not available in the global market. So like, you're, this, if you don't watch the show, you don't know the game, you're like, what? Huh? Yeah. Go play the game, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they're, fucking, they're paying the ass to get right now. They're my yeah. new fucking robots. Yeah. <laughs> because I needed the robots before because I was upgrading all the houses. And what it was is there was so many of these different things that you needed. to. Oh, they're done now. But one of them was you needed robots, and robots are very hard to get. Some of the items are more supply coveted. Supply and demand. Us. Supply Sons and demand. Sons of bitches. Well, and if you <laughs> want to demand some more, you can go over here. You can click on. You can go ahead. You can buy some more cash. You can buy some more diamonds, fertilizers, these little mystery cases. I got a gold one. In like two years, I got a gold one once. I got a silver yeah, like twice. Big. They're tough to come by. I, I still don't have much in the in enterprise. I'm in a it had been in a quiet enterprise previously as well too. But Chelsea Laudonio, she's in mine as well too. And then I signed up for a VIP for a minute. But yeah, it was uh, it it's it's to me it's like there's almost too much to do if you're playing the train stuff and the Empire stuff and de delivering to your friends and you're trying to like upgrade and do, like you can't. It's 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 like a full time thing. Strategize and prioritize. Yeah, yeah, are there people who like? Life. Are there people who like? This is all they do. Do you have Empire's like pro life. empire players now? Yep. Yep. Damn. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. Well, and the truth is, for some people, um, you know, and, and, and Craig, I get it. Like the fact that you're juggling the shows and everything that you're doing for the community as well. The fact that you put in so much time in Empire is pretty impressive in its own right. Nice. Uh, nice. I have a bad report. Uh, I haven't played the game in a while just because I haven't had time and focusing on making sure we're delivering great things to the players. And actually just watching you uh, circle around your empire is kind of making me jealous that I need to go fix mine myself. Well, <laughs> there's one spot over here that I think would fit the actual platform <laughs> of Studio 710 would look great right in this. 
spot here. If you guys need like a little office for Jamie to work out and you can just, <laughs> you just recreate and drop it right in here. That's yeah. awesome. Todd will send you a crayon drawing shortly. <laughs> after the show. Napkin drawing? Yeah, we'll just slap that right in here, have that in there by Monday. Ship it. Should be no big deal. No big deal. Uh, no, I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, to your point there about people like dedicated to playing, it's not that people, um, you know, have dropped all of their responsibilities in life and all they're doing is temporary, although maybe some have. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Uh, but we do have players in our game that were, you know, struggling <coughs> with aspects of their life. And for them, putting their time into Empire has been more than just a game, but really um, has actually drastically improved their quality of life. And, and <coughs> to that note, I mean, it, it's humbling that we can be a part of it. So the very lovely and talented and wonderful Piper Courtney from the Georgia Strait. This current article out there, I know it was up until I guess today or yesterday or something. But yes, wrote in here a nice feature that Andrew can actually probably put the web. This much easier to see. That well, we'll go with that one instead. <laughs> um, Piper wrote a piece on you guys, and obviously about you, the story about how it came together and the tour of the studio, which is really dope. But to talking of this impact, I mean, I've seen the cosplayers and we see the fan art, but but the stories of the people who are some of the folks in the mo in the chat rooms and the moderators and stuff. There's it's like. It's not only impacted some people's lives, like not getting all tear jerky and shit like that, but it, it's actually saved a couple of people's yeah. lives, or at least one anyway. Yeah, and I'll really let uh, Jamie speak yeah, to right? the community piece on this. The one thing I do want to say is when Piper came to do that article, um, I asked her, I said, What's the topic? She goes, I don't know, it'll write itself. Let's just talk. And we talked. And from there, th we just started realizing the impact we're starting to have. And then we brought Jamie in and started talking about it further. And then when I actually read the article a couple days ago, uh, I learned things about our own players that I thought I knew a ton about, and uh, it, it is tear jerky, so Jamie, take it away. Uh, yeah, so uh, Piper interviewed two of our players. One was Laura Hampson, who made like all of this fan art, plus like a hundred other pe pieces that we have at our office. And she also interviewed Toka, Toka Hontis, full name, uh, <laughs> who's one of our moderators. And uh, on the community team, we have about 10 to 20 moderators at any given point in time um, from all around the world, States, UK, France, uh, some of them don't even speak English. We use Google Translate to talk to each other. <laughs> and uh, we make them read like a 17 page Google Doc before they can join the squad. Um, and wow. they have to commit a minimum of 10 hours per week. It's like a part time job. Um, and they dedicate their hours to helping run the community, helping give players tips, you know, noobs who are like, huh? what's a marijuana plant? And, um, right, right. But then also helping organize things, making sure people are nice in the forums. That's really important to us, making sure that it's yeah. can like yeah. actually make friends. Yeah. And so they've become like a second family to us. Um, I, I spend how, most of my time talking to them, really. I know how important it is to have, a, not only as a company, to, as a business, to have a good forum or interactive place where people can get knowledge and information and share. And it's cool to have like, like, you know, the loyal and the following. There's just so many different levels to it. I remember early days with a couple of, you know, like Overgrow websites and stuff. And some of those chats were how you know, learn some of the stuff that, you know, you fundamentally carry down a day. And some of the people whose names are what they are on Instagram are because that's what their chat room forum name was like 18, 19 <laughs> years ago because of somebody else, right? Some early website days. Like it's, it, it's, I think it's it's amazing to see the impact that that the difference that you know an unintended maneuver. I mean, you probably started it as something to do to make some money to have some fun. Like there was probably wasn't to go out there and I'm gonna like deeply impact people's lives with this shit. It probably wasn't your initial. I mean, maybe you saw the foresight with that, but how could you how could you see that? I mean, that's a marketer's dream to some degree. Like yeah, it's I mean the the fact our game's global too. Uh, we find that a lot of people don't get to access cannabis in some countries, right? and our game's kind of like an escape for them. They're able to you know play and engage with people from around the world ask questions maybe just out of curiosity educate themselves or kind of relung the story of the game and learn a bit um, and when we meet these people in real life or whether it's at events or traveling um, they tell us that the game really helps them fill that void that maybe they don't get to access and to talk a bit more about the community in our game um, you know the feedback we get from them uh, is really valuable to what we're looking at developing next. And right. we listen to our audience for what they're missing, what they want, and then we actually get to use that and uh, create products for them inside of our game. So, um, yeah, having such a global audience is a marketer's dream, you're right. Nice, nice segment. segue, though, too, can I ask, is there, do we get to know what comes next? I mean, you just <laughs> did something, but I mean, what's next? Uh, oh, we'll just wait and see. I'll give you as much hints as I can give. 
Um, well, based on our, the fact we had Christmas in Empire for six months, yep. uh, don't quote me on this date, but uh, <laughs> our second game is looking like it's going to be coming out at the end of this year. Oh, cool. And really the second game is obviously sticking with what we know best. Uh, we want to be the leaders in cannabis entertainment, in yep. cannabis games. Cool. Uh, but we also recognize that Empire is not for everyone. We hope it is, but it isn't. Uh, it's for a lot of you. It is for a lot, but you did mention like the people that uh, you know have to dedicate hours and hours and hours a day because they want to be the best at it. Mm -hmm. There is those players out there that really just want that casual quick game that quickly connects them that they play you know for five ten minutes between their breaks and we feel that this next game that's coming out is really going to capture that audience and and it's still going to have all the familiar characters and feel of empire um but uh, a lot more casual and uh something you can quickly play but if you're playing both of them you're really going to have no life well start with playing <laughs> yeah right start with playing empire go over there to the uh, itunes store the ios the wherever you got to get your your Google Plays, your Androids, I don't know, go, 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 go get that. Also, there's an there's a Instagram, of course, too, that's the Hempire Game Instagram. There's also the uh, HempireGame.com website as well, too. And uh, if down in the YouTube link, actually, as well, too, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you've clicked through there, or if you can, um, just uh, uh, go ahead and click that. It's, it's bit.ly slash Hempire Joints. Click that, the bit.ly Empire Joints link down there, and that'll take you right through the download as well, too. So simple. Um, and if not, and if you just want to search, just search Empire yep. in the yep. app stores or whatever, right? Easy to find us in the app store, but if you're watching today, please do uh, follow the bit.ly link. It helps uh, show Craig some support, and we really want to give back to him as well. They'll be like, wow, I'll click. And I'll be like, see, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot for $2. No, uh, no, I, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys coming down. And of course, you know, uh, the, it's great to have you here. And I do look forward to what's next. Go play the game. Go find me in it. You'll see me in there. I'm in there somewhere. I got a Craig X account in there. I think this one is the Expert Joints or Studio 710 Expert account. Expert Joints Live, I think. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, check us out. We're in there doing it. Uh, Jamie's always uh, managing the social, yeah. killing it right there. You know, you guys are out all the events. What's uh, You're going to be in Seattle or something just this weekend, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I'm in Seattle Monday, Tuesday at a tech conference at Pocket Gamer Connect. I'll be speaking on uh, leadership and diversity and studio culture. Because um, cool. we're actually trying to do something different in our studio as well. I mean, there's a lot of wonderful game studios in Vancouver. Um, but one thing that we really value is quality of life. And, you know, you ask sort of like, did you have the foresight to see what this business was going to create? Um, we had beliefs, we had vision, we had dreams that it would do something like this, but this is well beyond them in terms of results. And uh, I had a previous company before this. I didn't have a lot of free time. I was working seven days a week. Um, I didn't feel like I was creating something that I was passionate about. And Empire is really the culmination of that, LBC Studios. And if that's going to improve my life, it needs to improve our team members' life as well. So we really try to foster a lot of flexibility in the work environment. Uh, with Jamie, she is going to be an absolute TV star in no time flat. She's already down <laughs> there. Uh, and so we want to support those things. So if we can give her the time like today. She had two auditions, right? Yeah. Two auditions today. And, uh, you know, free to leave the office and go do those things. So uh, we're trying to figure out uh, part of what I'm speaking on in Seattle is finding the balance of total freedom at work. Uh, and uh, hitting top level production so that we can make great games for the people. So just yeah. to jump onto that, so if you're <laughs> watching and you're a game developer based in Vancouver or you want to live in Vancouver and you're looking for a cannabis friendly game studio, we're hiring. <laughs> 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 we are always hiring. Uh, LBCstudios.ca slash careers. Uh, we've always got jobs available and we're always looking for great talent. How about expert joints live slash dab time? <laughs> <laughs> How we follow that one? Yeah? yeah like that. We'll be right back.
cities. It can be disorienting at times. Between the traffic, the people, and the extreme weather, it can be tough to get around. And that's why Fast 420 lets you order online. With tons of high quality options to choose from, Fast 420 offers convenient delivery right to your door. Sign up today at fast420.ca. Hey, what's up back here again? Dab time with me on the Big Puffa. What's going on, brother? Yeah. Sean, man, having a good time, as always. It's smoky you, in here, you know? You going to come out to the golf course with us? I am. I've seen that 420. Right? Yeah. Solid yeah. lit up over there as well, too. He's a golf boy. What do you mean? Uh, I can go golf. <laughs> I missed last year's, but yeah, this no, year I'm going to come out there. check that out. See, 420 Cup happening out there. Uh, Squamish Valley Golf Club again, too, doing it. Uh, make sure you get involved there. More information out there. 420 Cup. Dot CA, mm -hmm. F O R E, 20 cup dot CA. Uh, also, uh, the Big Puffa has uh, products from Weeds with us as well, too. Here, got a couple different things as well. I got some of this jungle banana gas. I'm gonna smoke Northern, right here. some Northern Lights. There you go. What do we got here? Island Sweet Skunk. I think I'm gonna try that. There you go. And then Green God. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm trying, I'm the trying Green to God. this one then. Yeah, 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 well, okay. we gotta have some music to go ahead and say. So uh, we down do. there, uh, lady, gentlemen, help yourselves down there as well, too. I'm not sure if you guys dab as well, too, before you. Or what your plan is, but but we're gonna be dabbing up here for a second with with a song by whom called what? Uh, we got a song by Viles called Get Right. Okay, so. she's the rap game's Bjork if you read her Instagram account. <laughs> Not sure who Bjork is, but like I'll take her word for it. She's uh, really I'll, talented though. It's a '90s thing. I'll, I'll fill you in. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay, cool. Yeah, no, she's super talented, right? We we caught her before. Not the weediest song that we've ever played, but it's still dope. But she's dope, still so dope. we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Try and get her in a future episode. Or something yeah, like that. for All right, sure. Cool. Um, well, we gonna get right we to the song. Get right. That's that's what I'm saying here. Okay, so then one last quick, just throw it in the in the dab cam for a second here, which is the camera. This one, oh. Uh, this one, yes, very nice over there, and make it bigger. Boom, there you go, Andrew. Oh, this is, in my case, the uh, the jungle banana gas from the folks over there at Weeds. Weedsgg.ca, the website you can check out for more products like these and a whole lot of information. And, of course, you can check them in-store and on, uh, I guess not Instagram. I think they got hit again. <laughs> anyway, Weedsgg.ca. In the meantime, you ready? Get right. Andrew, get ready. All right, then go. If it's time for you, it's time for us. Dab time. Yeah, the one we got 
Thanks to Viles for letting us play the track. You want to check her out. Uh, it's Viles with three S's on Instagram and Twitter and all the socials in general. Viles. 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 Uh, and uh, yes, uh, like I said, the link down in the YouTube description. So thanks to her. And dope we'll, track. Uh, dope yeah, right. Yeah, dope track. We'll have uh, hopefully her up on a future episode at some point, maybe. And of course, we'll have you back as well, too, repping that G Town. G-Town! Yeah. Hey! You already know what it is. G-Town604.com. Uh, getting to have also Lord Geezy on Instagram as well, too. Yeah. Doing it a hold there. And, of course, uh, thanks again to Weeds for that shit. <coughs> Still coughing for a second. Uh, <coughs> anyway, um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, stick around. Uh, we'll be right back. I lost my train of thought there for a second. I missed the my... The dabs is hitting nice. Yeah, I lost my nice little segue, so I'll just awkwardly just go to next up. Grow tips. We'll be right back. <coughs> Also, have another tip, computer tip. Time to get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> For y'all who are watching, me like what? So what happened was, is this is the point where I'd be like, uh, on the grow tips, you know, where he gets some great advice from some great growers, and this one, no exception, he's beyond a great grower. He's actually a master grower. He's a matter of fact, he's the grand master level. Please welcome back to the show. And then Andrew would flash up the camera and say, hey, what's up? And it would be all nicely timed out looking good. But of course, what had happened was the fucking computer that's given us troubles more than once that we thought was maybe just exclusive to Skype, that apparently is maybe not just exclusive to Skype, has just shit the bed. Of course, because you never know what's going to happen on a live show. Turn in, they tune in for the car crashes, right? <laughs> well, you at least got joint 172 here while I stall as long as I awkwardly can. Hey, you play some Empire. And, oh, yeah, good. good idea, <laughs> um, and see if we can get Andrew to, well, we got the 72 graphic. I'll have to start. Uh, we'll see if we can get that uh, computer restarted. Hang on, GML. He's probably watching going like, Jesus, what are these guys waiting for? 
We're waiting for the computer to not get thrown out the window here in a minute if it keeps this fucking shit up. No. Um, we can play the trains video. It's a minute we long. We can. Uh, yeah, he's also got a bunch of other things on the go. I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's play the trains video for a second. <laughs> Great idea, Jamie. <laughs> Doing it. So yeah, so those are some of the other items you can catch and stuff, right? So you, you send one out and when it, it'll come back up, that's right, and you gotta load it back up again. I have, I think it's more important than ever uh, now, because at one point when I was like kind of done everything, I didn't really like keep a lot of stuff growing. Oh, you know, for that yep. kind of order, I'd make that and that'd be it. Otherwise I didn't carry a whole bunch of stock, even though I had all the room for it. Where now with the trains feature, I literally have like all the time, well here, let's go check my warehouse. Uh, I always keep something like 40, 50 of each flower. And like I try and keep in and around about a, depending on some of the items that don't get used very much, not very many, but otherwise around about a 10 or a dozen or so, yeah. just about anything because these things come through want two or three at a time and then I just replenish them and then I just, what I do is I then take my flowers that are already grown, I keep one of everything and then I buck that down, replace it and put another one in, right? I'm constantly now doing it and it's more important than ever to like, you know, try and water on time and, and all these different bits and pieces to try and get the most out of it so you can create as many things as you need because if you're feeding all these trains, you chew through the your, your your baked goods in your your other various different products very very fast. Do you upgrade your storage? I have, like I said, on the other one, I'm already done with level 18. This one I don't have done yet on on this in this particular. But I'm already done level 18 on here. Oh, you're so and, close. And I'm so done I'm level. Done. Well, on this on my phone. I was, if we could have a camera on my phone, I'm done that on this one. But <laughs> I got two. I have two accounts. It's true because I have multiple devices, but. Yep. Are we waiting for yep. the nod? Dash. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's a hyphen at the end. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Andrew's working on it. Uh, oh, what do we have here on the camera? This is what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. So um, <laughs> I, I, I have almost everything done on this level here, whereas um, the other one is basically done other than I'm just trains. Apparently you'll never be done upgrading trains ever then. I mean eventually, but then we're going to have like five new mechanics out by that point, so. We got to keep giving. Right? Yeah, that is the thing, man. I, I would be nice. Mandy could use some help sometimes, because there was moments <laughs> when I was like doing some of the other stuff, when I was really upgrading all of my houses and equipment and stuff along the way. It would have been nice to have had Handy Mandy's like. Did you see our April Fool's prank? Yeah, less, like the less lazy Susan. Lazy yeah. Susan, yeah. Was, yeah. She'll help you out, but upgrades will take twice as long. Well, right. It's better than nothing. It's been like the most common player request, I think, that's starting to come. So All right. we hear you. No, I think that's pretty cool. I think it's awesome. And it would be really good to, to one day use this guy again. Mr. Solomon. Yeah. Uh, there's a few characters that we've had that have come in and out that we haven't brought back. Uh, I'm kind of partial. I wanted Solomon to come back because that was the only thing that was close to me in the game, but uh, no love. <laughs> Gonna have to talk to somebody around there. Sorry, I don't even think you. I think you got his truck in there or something like that. My car is in the opening shot. Okay, so apparently the computer just crashed again here. That's not gonna work. Can we sign? We can't sign in on another computer anywhere. No. So. And that would suck. So we could do our own Hempire grow tips. <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do a grow tip on growing weed in Hempire. So what I'm going to do then, uh, sorry, GML. I don't know what to fucking say here. Um, so we, uh, I've already harvested, I'm about to harvest some weed here. So I just harvested some of the Jack Hare. Um, so let's go ahead and grow uh, another. This is what the end product would look like. So when you grow weed in Empire, you've got all your different strains to pick from and your different pots. Oh, and there's some chem dog right here. I've got one of those along here as well too. Where is that? All these different strains. Look at them all. Hindu cushion. So from a grow chem tip dog. perspective, can you press the little information button there? Yeah, well, sure. Oh, uh, uh, on this Northern Lights, I will. Sure, info, yeah. So this kind of gives you an idea from a grow perspective. <laughs> Obviously the basics of growing water, temperature, 
uh, getting your yield and production times bang on and, and you know, using your uh, uh, fertilizers and managing your, your temperature in your room is all key to uh, having a good crop. Sounds familiar, right? Eh? Right. And then, of course, you've got abilities to upgrade your strains along the way, different qualities, potencies along the way, this build up. Uh, and more important to, to make sure that you pay attention to watering, you know, having those right temperatures, which you can set here <coughs> in, your, uh, in your air conditioning. So if you want something to be at different temperatures, it'll tell you what plants like it more than others. So if I'm trying to grow something new, let's say I'm going to go ahead and I'll replace this chem dog over here. Boop. So I take that, drag that over, start watering. It's going to be seven times I got to water it. There you go. And in 30 seconds, it wants watering again. So if you hit your marks, you gain more and more buds. And those start to add up if you have to hit them all. It can be tough to get all of them because there's breaks in between some of them yeah. to sort of catch yeah. for. But, and then if you're in a rush, well, you just take your little fertilizer here. And yeah. Hey. If only it was yeah. so easy, eh? Right? <laughs> well, I mean, when the game was first designed, one of the discussions that happened was because growing marijuana in real life is so complicated, they couldn't decide how simple or how complicated to make it in relation to real life. Like, they were like, I don't know if we should have bugs come and destroy your crop. Like, is that too harsh? <laughs> and we tried. Harsh. We <laughs> did try. Very harsh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think that it is, um, yeah, it, it's... It's pretty cool. I mean, it's the timing aside being not quite legitimate and real. It is, uh, it is kind of a neat feature. Just people go in, grow what you need, see what you do. And also, of course, too, you can also make your own in here as well, too. So, you know, you take your Afghani and you take your sour <coughs> diesel and you can get them and you can start breeding. Or, oh, I don't want the sour diesel. I'd rather have the Hindu in there. And you see the different traits. And have you ever won uh, a Empire Cup? Have you had one of your strains in game? Uh, I don't remember if I've had a strain in game. I did win early, like earliest, a uh, goal, you know, whatever the low level one. Like a bronze? Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. I'm on a gold, so I don't know what I'm at now. So click into the second greenhouse there. Oh, this is because it started again on this one. The second greenhouse, yeah, right yes. there, yeah. Yep. So, I mean, this is one of the cool things about Empire 2 is, you know, it's just like the real world. You know, we're always looking to create the best possible strains with potency or certain benefits or characteristics that we all enjoy. And if you compete in our game and, and build the best strain, the most popular, uh, you'll notice here that these strains are actually real players' strains that you get to then grow. So that one's created by Sin, C-Y-N. And uh, what a cool way to, to kind of customize something and really make it personal and then share your, your customization to the rest of the world. But you do have to win. Right. It is, uh, it is very cool man, to be able to enter the Empire Cup. You can go ahead and choose your strain, make whatever you want with icons, and really customize this, dial it in the way you want. And I think that's just like growing. You want to really dial in for what you want specifically for your condition. And just like this games, you can dial it in for what you want to make the experience of. Like as uh, Kevin said, no two people do it the same. I, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't sound like we're going to get the grow tips uh, in with Grandmaster Level on the Skype computer. No, Andrew was saying. We got no zoom over there. I guess, <clears throat> what if we put him on the iPad and put a webcam in front of it? That works. Ah, uh, that'll take a long time. We'll go through this here. Um, I guess I could try and just give him a quick call on my phone and tell him what happened and just let him know what's going on because I would like to see if we can get him for the next segment here. So, FaceTime? Maybe, maybe we can try audio only. Otherwise, you know what? Let's... Uh, that's some, I guess, some grow tips on how to grow weed and some of the things to look for in the Empire game. It's <laughs> kind of like grow tips. <laughs> uh, Still sort of counts. I appreciate that we're filling the grow tips time, but I feel bad for all the, uh, yeah, right, <laughs> the ones let's... that really want to be playing in their garden right now. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's see if we can get... But I'll uh, take the shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, it's all great. Man. Let's see if we... Time to run for expert selections here anyway in a second, which I kind of want GML for. Let me see if we can get him on another source. Yeah, I know exactly, right? Andrew, run the little video for a break here, and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do when we come back.
way. Stephen, how are you? I don't know. If I... Good, how about yourself? Good, man. Hey, oh, oh, hey, hey. Hey, welcome to the MacGyver Hour. I'm your host. No. Uh, give me an avocado, a snorkel, and some tinfoil. Yeah, I'm on right now. I'm trying to set this up here. One second. Uh, I'm not on the phone with, with, uh, with my mom or the folks from Fast 420, but I am smoking joint 172 from Fast 420 here. Um, and the guy we tried to have on for Grow Tips that we so nicely were filled by the folks at Empire there, we'll have him back for a Grow Tips. Uh, he would have given us some good advice, and it probably would have been to do with lighting. So we can circle that around on the next episode. But to help us here, because, okay, so the stupid computer doesn't work. So what I've got is I've got them on, on the, the Zoom feature, which we'll talk a little bit more on my phone. So we're not going to unfortunately have any of the video, but we will have a little bit of an audio for a second anyway from the guys to talk a little bit about our expert selections. And bear with me, I hope this fucking works. We are trying to put this together best we can. The show goes on, right? So this is expert selection, or are we talking about the grow tips? I'm confused, sorry. Hey, so hang on, so let me set it up then. Now that the phone people are aware of what's happening here, from expert selections, there's some of the dope items I might come across and make available to you at expertjoints.com slash shop. From clothes to books to medtainers and to neutralizers, we got a bunch of well put together items for you to choose from. And this week we add more new items. And with the latest news on all of our additions, welcome back from not only the Grandmaster Level show, but the Horticultural Lighting Group. Please welcome Grandmaster Level to the show via my phone. <laughs> hey, how's it going? And uh, we also have Steven Johnson with me. He's the owner of HLG. How are you doing today, Craig? Good, man. I'm great. Glad to have you here. I'm also going to see if I can. I wonder if I can put this on speakerphone. I don't know if this is, if this is, it's, you know, this is loud. You're good. No, no, you're good. No, I'm just making sure it was good. Um, so, yes. So I, I appreciate you, first of all, being here, GML. Good to have you back. And uh, uh, Steven, uh, pleased to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Sorry while well, you just stare at my ceiling because of the way I have the phone positioned next to the microphone. It's as, I know this is awkward, but we'll make it happen. Um, first things first, uh, GML, of course, always a pleasure, man. Your uh, Friday show is doing well, 5 o'clock over there on YouTube, and of course, this same Zoom feature. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, we've really built it up now. We've, uh, this week will be 110 weeks in a row. That's awesome, man. I only did 104 weeks in a row when I uh, did my first two seasons, then I took some time off, but that's an amazing feat. Congratulations, dude. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's been a lot of, it's been a lot of hard work. Um, just like you know, preparing every single week and getting everything in order and also having um, no technical issues. <laughs> oh, don't jinx us. <laughs> no technical issues. I wonder what that's like. Oh, exactly. Fucking. Now, um, do, you, do you want me to do a grower's tip of the day, or are we just doing an expert selection? We're just here? now going to roll on with expert selections, because the folks from Empire ended us giving us uh, a, some, some grow tips on growing weed in their game. They were kind enough to help us with that. Uh, in the meantime, I'd love to have you back for that. But I did say that you would have talked about the importances of lighting and some of the differences, which was going to be a nice, lovely segue into the fact of that I've launched a new product on the... Uh, on the website now, currently just been released, uh, added to expert selections, the new LED lights from the Horticulture Lighting Group that we've now got on expertjoints.com slash shop right at the top of the page. So, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to let Stephen just kind of talk about them. But yeah, you, you have on your site um, the HLG 550R spec. It's our new latest light. It's the creme de la creme when it comes to LED growing, in my opinion. And Stephen, why don't you just tell us some information about them? So um, the, LED, the R spec is the newest iteration of the HLG 550. Um, you know, it's a time proven design that's uh, almost two years old that uh, we we continually upgrade to the the best um, LEDs on the market. You know, uh, so right now it's what make what separates it from the version two is version two used a 3000K. Um, LM301B Samsung, which is the best white light LED on the market. I, to, uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, just so everybody knows the difference, 3000K spectrum is very similar to a high pressure sodium spectrum when with like just a regular HPS 
um, spectrum and a 4000 K spectrum is like a metal halide. So the 3000 K is like red and the 4000 K is like blue. I just wanted to clarify that for everybody. Right. Yeah. So, so of course, both of those, the three and the four are a fuller spectrum than your traditional HPS or metal highlight. The new R spec is a 3,500 K. So in between, but we're supplementing with Osram SSL 660 nanometer. Um, what that does is it, it can bring out more genetic expression in the plant as far as colors. It can bring out colors better during the final phases of uh, when the plants are finishing flower. Um, it also increases the efficiency some and yield. I, I'm going to say about a 5% increase in yield. Well, um, well that's, that is interesting. I mean, Remo did tell me that certain strains that he was noticing, this is, you know, almost two years ago now, were, were doing better under LEDs than HIDs, but I imagine it probably had a lot to do with the LED itself. And I guess you've got also this this 300 as well as the other two models or the other 500 uh, version two. Um, what makes these lights like so good or so special or better than I guess other ones in the market? Okay, so what really sets us apart is we were probably one of the first companies to actually uh, mainstream bringing out, uh, you know, efficiency ratings or how many photons you get per watt or what they call micromoles per joule. Um, we were probably one of the first companies that, or the first company that I know of to actually um, provide uh, independent government uh, regulated or certified laboratory testing results. So um, you can send it off to uh, a lighting laboratory that is government certified and what they'll do is they'll give you a photon count of the total output of your fixture. No. Um, and we were the first ones probably to actually say, hey, look, you know, it, it's kind of like, you know, back in the 60s and 70s, people would advertise horsepower, then it would be different than what they really advertised. Now, you know, if you if, if Ford says, hey, this Mustang's got 350 horsepower, you can probably inquire and get a dyno result to prove it and then if you get one it darn sure is 350 horsepower where you know um leds have a bad rap you know or they used to it's it's finally changing over but as a as a a newer company in the game like you know like three or four years old we had an uphill battle because you know in the late 90s early 2000s there were a lot of uh, these chinese little ufos and things come out and said oh you can you know, all that HPS lights a waste. You can buy this 175 watt light and it'll replace the 1,000. And they would sell it to people and people would pay like, you know, $1,000 for a, a piece of junk. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. I, sorry. Sorry. I just I just wanted to step in there. Yeah, I, I think the biggest issue is people fell victim. Like in 2008, I fell victim to LEDs. I spent $2,000 on some crazy rainbow colored light. And I was told they gave me a CD that was obviously forged like with the pictures <laughs> right. and they were telling me that, you know, it could grow. So I, I truly did not believe in them. Even, at, you know, nine years later, after all the videos, I still had to kind of do it myself and to see firsthand. But now I can definitely say without question, the technology is there. And just the one thing on why it's so really life changing when you take a single ended HPS bulb, and that's what kind of growers have used for years and years. It draws 1,050 watts, even though they call it 1,000 watt. Well, our bulb that draws 480 watts gives out just as much light. So it really <coughs> is life-changing. Like you literally are cutting your power in half. So if you had like a tent with, and you only had, a, you could only use 1,000 watts, you could literally go to two tents right. and using the same amount of power and right. doubling your yield. I, yes. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just gonna say, I was, gonna ask you you know uh, what was the reason that switched but i mean that sounds like a hell of a reason to me man and well, obviously that plus, plus you know so for for instance for hid you have a couple other factors that people don't really add in when they're just looking at just their electric bill um so you have hvac costs so for every watt that goes into a grow area you, you're producing heat i was just gonna um, say that yeah so your your heat your your thermal load is is, is reduced as well as you have bulb change costs and even the reflector, they have that German aluminum reflector um, that you use with an HID that 
over time degrades and oxidizes so its reflectivity goes down and depending on the the shade that you're using it could be reflecting 50 to even 90 percent of the light you know you have a vert you have some vertical bulb stuff that all the light is reflected so if, if that thing degrades and now it's 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 10 percent less reflective than it was 10 percent of 90 percent of your light is gone now you know so um well, and also you've got height. I mean, I think it helps with some height issues that some people can have as well, too. You know, you don't need as much distance. You can get a little closer, not having to worry about burning. I mean, I understand why the LEDs make a lot of sense. It was just from as I understood it for a while, and as you guys were sort of saying, they just didn't work as advertised. But, it, you know, Jed, if they're good enough for GML, uh, I've smoked his weed. So, um, seemed good to me and they seem like a good idea and a good thing to add to uh, the expert selection so well Steven I appreciate you come by to tell us a little bit about it and and GML you guys coming through I mean obviously we've got them on the site there now as well too but you can get more information the horticulture lighting group dot uh, com and dot ca as well as uh, Grandmaster level on Instagram you know lots of places to find out more about them right absolutely man and of course, on Fridays as well, too, at five o'clock, we can find out more from you as well, too, and everything you guys got going on. Any uh, plug shout outs? I appreciate you guys hanging around a little bit late for us. I know you're digging a hole in your backyard there, GML or some shit. So. <laughs> no, I, I really appreciate it. And I understand. I know how it goes with technical stuff. So, you Fucking know, we'll, do, we'll postpone it to another day. I appreciate it. Now, Stephen, thank you so much, man. I mean, there's a lot of people who are going to appreciate these, and it, you're right, it, it, it'll make a huge difference, and I think it's just the evolution of the game, and I appreciate the opportunity to be able to help uh, help get them into more people's hands. So, expertjoints.com slash shop over there on there. You can check that out, and uh, check these guys out as well, too. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, take it easy. So, it didn't go quite according to plan, but still kind of cool. I appreciate it. It is what it is. I also appreciate the fact that you guys have hung in there with us as well, too. I know you all <laughs> got to get going and stuff. I don't think we've done the favorite four with you all individually as well, either. The, the questions, the how and where you got into weed and how much you all consume and stuff. But I know it's running late in the show, so we'll save that for the next time you guys come back. We'll Sounds do good. that for another one. Just an excuse to have them back a little bit just for that segment. Uh, uh, plug shout-outs, things we missed here. Thank you uh, to the Hempire team. Thank you to you. Hey, man. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, Appreciate any time you offer us the opportunity to come here and just chat about us and what we're doing. And uh, I'm glad we can support back and continue to support this community in Vancouver as well as our players worldwide. Killer, thank you. So if you wouldn't mind just throwing a few diamonds just in my <laughs> other account there. Just top I'm that sure up a little bit there. I'm a little, sh I'm a little short on cash on that one now. I just upgraded everything. <laughs> but no, it's uh, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks so much for being a part. And obviously, you know, you've done a lot for your community, but the community as well, too. So thanks for being supportive of that. And congratulations on all the success and everything you do. And, and I'm happy to keep, you know, plugging away and pushing away. And I know you keep... I keep busting balls every time about including this in the game, but, but, <laughs> but Parker over here, now he'd be the real star of the show, really. I think we have might talked about a dog, a dog, actually. Dog <laughs> well, if you want to use Parker's licenses there, he currently works for Cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, think, I don't know if that'll fit your yeah. budget. Uh, I know you guys are still in startup phase and shit like that, but if you can swing some uh, Cauliflower. We'll draft we, a Cauliflower contract. Right, for sure, too. Tanya, let's, work let's on get this. that up. Yeah, yeah. That happen. Um, no, I do appreciate that. I also appreciate uh, uh, the fact that... Um, uh, you make it available to 10 million people, and here's to 10 million more. So, uh, Exactly. If you haven't played it, HempireGame.com. It's available on all your devices. And, and the link is below on the YouTube. Bitly, yeah, slash Empire... Game, I think. Empire Expert. Uh, Expert Empire. Expert Empire. 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 I don't know. It's whatever. It's down there. Do that. Yeah. And, the, uh, of course, the on all of your apps, all your devices, the best weed growing yeah. game. And, and then my last thanks is the two people sitting beside me and uh, the one that's not on the screen. Jamie uh, is a big reason we have the community we have, and Kevin and Ryan are a big reason that uh, there's people that know about it. So. And shout out to Andrew, who's in the chat right now representing Empire. Absolutely. Hey, yeah. what's going on, yeah. Andrew? And any players champion. that are there. Everybody, yeah, you guys are my favorite game. You're the only game I play online. And if you you only play one make sure you all play empire and when you get there you say hey tell them craig x sent me and they'll say who <laughs> <laughs> not a chance yeah. that might actually get you some diamonds <laughs> right hey uh well, what about if i say uh thank you to the the big puffa as well too we get him on in here see if we can get him playing and shit like that uh i know he's uh he's uh i think he's got some time for some games here and there oh i got your mic bro here you got nothing there you go sorry about that yeah uh, plug shout outs, anything you want to you say, dog? Uh, yeah, big shout out to uh, 
Big shout out to myself. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> myself because uh, as of tomorrow, I'm going to start recording my new album. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, I'm in the, as of tomorrow, I'll be an album recording phase. So yeah. Be, you know, I'm pretty excited about that. No, nah, but shout out to y'all, though. That's what I really meant to say. I love y'all. Everybody in the chat, everybody who watches. And yeah, shout out to you. Thanks, man. Holding it down. Uh, thanks for bringing in the track from Viles, and thanks to her for playing uh, Let Big shout the out track to her. as well, too. Yeah. Uh, the track is called uh, Get Right. Check that out on YouTube. Check it out on the different platforms. More to come. I think there's a video coming. And hopefully we'll get to see her as well, too. We'll see how that goes. You never know. Uh, I also uh, also got to uh, thank Products by Sec and the Fukushima Pre-Roll Factory and Miss Envy for their support of the show as well, too. Other products here hanging around as well. Um, also, uh, I'd suggest you go visit them, Products by Sec on Instagram, uh, getfooked.ca, and uh, missenvy.ca, and uh, all of yes, those, see, all of those. Quiz. Hey, look, that's me. Oh, that's not me. I smoked a lot of those, though. And uh, Miss Envy, uh, that, that one's not me, but I am in some <laughs> of them on that site. <laughs> if you look hard enough, you can find pictures of your boy on that one, looking like... Are you sure about this? <laughs> uh, anyway, it's cool. Um, also, pretty cool are the other shows that happen on the Pot TV networks, like Canvas Culture News, Jeremiah Vandermeer, tomorrow at 4 o'clock, the cast of characters, uh, High Noon with Alyssa on Saturdays at 12, 420 Lifestyle, Carly and BC Budgal, uh, and uh, uh, Mondays at 4. What else we got? Monday the Influence from Greg and Marijuana Man Williams on Wednesdays at 4 o'clock. And tune in to Fridays at 2 on Fridays on SaveOnRadio.com for episode 43 of me and DJ Slippy featuring our guest, criminal defense lawyer Sarah Lehman is coming back to hang out with us again. There's a whole lot that's happened in these drug testing devices and uh, changes to the regulations recently and all this stuff. So you get to get a lawyer's opinion on some of that shit. So make sure you listen to that at 2 o'clock and watch behind the scenes on Twitter and Periscope. Also, while you're doing things, as I like, what is this? Is this 173 or 174 now? Um, 170, I don't know, I lost track. Whatever the last one was, it's the next one. 170, 171, I think it might be at least 73, could be 74. Um, we'll check the replay afterwards. Uh, why don't you in the meantime, yeah, could be. No, 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 yeah, this one, the one with the finger, Andrew. Yeah, that's Sarah, she's Fridays. Yeah, yeah, she's cool. She's not on the joint counter, but she's, she's going to be there. The one with the finger, bro. There you go. Yay, while you're at it, man, let's hit the subscribe button down here as well, too. And then the one next to it with the thumbs up. And next week, there's going to be one like this for Andrew. <laughs> He's going to pop up. Asshole. Uh, anyway, uh, I appreciate everybody in the chat, too, here. What do you go? Shaggy420, Bitter End, CBC Voter. What's going on, Matty Mo? Shout out CBC Voter. Right? 420, High TV. Oh, that's 420, Wild Dragon. What's going on? Evil Dave, everybody. And yes, Empire. What's going on? Andrew, doing it. Having a good time. All sorts of people in there week on week. We appreciate it. Andrew here week on week. Right through all of it. So we'll make this computer thing happen soon here, man. I can't have this not happening again. These sons of bitches. Yeah, shout out to Andrew, too, with the sound effects. Right, He's killing it, it earlier, too. Shout out to Andrew. Shout out to Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. All the crew at Cannabis Life Network appreciate the help. We'll be back next Thursday for episode 176. You better get ready because we're going to eat these d uh, dank delights, these little chocolates and shit. They're good. They're infused. They're delicious. So, um, anything else? Anything else? Anyone else? Bueller? Anyone? Yeah? Good. Well, if you're after that, then Andrew, please hit the music.